Hi, I'm Roger Durbin. Welcome to my blog. I've been flying the Parrot Bebop drone with the Sky Controller for a few weeks now. Uh, this is my first experience with a drone of any kind. And as most everyone, I turned it on and started flying because of its ease of use. Uh, just hit the lift off button and you're flying. But after a few weeks and 60 plus flights of experimentation and study, I believe I can help with most of the people's problems that I see them complaining about on YouTube and on forums. Is it possible that you could have problems due to hardware and software? Sure, things go wrong with anything you buy. Uh, there could be problems with new technology, of course, but it truly doesn't happen all that often, most of the time, with whichever drone you choose. Your problems are probably due to poor preparation, incorrect settings, and taking risks that could be avoided. The two main causes of problems in my opinion are GPS lock and Wi-Fi interference. One of the first weird things that I experienced was a flight where it started to wobble and fell out of the sky from about 50 feet. Fortunately, it fell into grass and didn't hurt it. Another time, I was inside a large building and on my second flight inside this building, my display was slow and really poor quality. Uh, both these times, I believe, I can attribute it to Wi-Fi interference. Wi-Fi has advantages and disadvantages. Every phone and tablet has Wi-Fi, so they are cheap and easy to use to our advantage. The Bebop defaults to the auto 2.4 gigahertz range, and so does every router and computer in the United States. So it is easy to get interference. But Parrot has made it very easy for us to check for interference from Wi-Fi, even in the 5 gigahertz range. It's possible to get interference in auto mode since most routers broadcast on both bands. Let's say you're flying across your subdivision, which I've done many times. Your Bebop probably has access to hundreds of routers from its vantage point. Something on the same frequency is almost a given in the 2 gigahertz band because most all routers default to the same auto settings when they don't see other routers. Interference isn't a problem much between houses, but 200 feet up in the air, it's a different story. I have found I get less interference by utilizing a high channel in the five gigahertz range. I take the time to check the channel and set the frequency myself to channel 157 in the five gigahertz band if possible. I realize that five gigahertz doesn't have as much range as two gig does, but most honestly, we don't need it and it's actually illegal to fly out of eyesight anyway. The five gigahertz range in most instances is fine with the sky controller. Not many people use the upper channels on five gigahertz, so normally you will be fine. I check just in case. You can't be too careful with your investment. The other big mistake people make is dealing with their GPS lock. Has anybody watched their GPS lock on their phone, say on Google Earth? When it first attaches, it's not completely accurate. It takes a couple of minutes to zero in on your location. Even after your phone gets three satellites, it's still a minute or two for it to get pretty accurate as it attaches to more satellites. I bet most people don't want to wait till they get GPS green light before they take off with their Bebop. So somewhere in the sky, your green light turns on and that's where your drone thinks home is. And say you hit your home button somewhere on the other side of some trees and it's not a clear line of sight to where it thinks home is. Yeah, right through the trees. I understand thinking, well, my sky controller has a green light on it that it'll return to. But what if because of Wi-Fi interference, your connection gets trashed and it can't reconnect to the sky controller and the Bebop has to wait a couple of minutes and return to where it thinks home is and that point is somewhere in the sky because you didn't wait till you got a green light before you took off? When I first realized the interference probability, I switched to the 5 gigahertz band thinking that would be fine and several flights later I got a lock and started flying. After a while I had a sudden total Wi-Fi dropout. Nothing I could do would reconnect. After two minutes the Bebop flew back to me at 30 feet, hovered till the battery went down to 13 percent and then landed at my feet. There was a pretty good wind. It would drift slightly then come back to the same spot right above me before it landed. 
It could have been really bad if I hadn't waited for the green light. When I checked after my one major Wi-Fi loss, I found 5 GHz interference as a probable cause, and after selecting channel 157, I haven't had any problems since then. Let's face a few realities. Who hasn't had to reboot a Wi-Fi router from time to time? And as a tech guy, there have been many times when I've had to change Wi-Fi channels in buildings with multiple routers because interference was causing video dropout on streaming video. Most of the time, the problems aren't Parrot's fault. There's no way Parrot can predict what your Wi-Fi and GPS situation is. And no, I don't work for Parrot. I'm just a tech guy having fun with my Bebop. I guarantee that if you purchase a more bulletproof drone system for several thousand dollars, you would still have a larger checklist of details for pre-flight. If you don't want it to be a disposable toy, then don't treat it like one. What if you have to wait a couple minutes to take off to get GPS locked? Big deal. Fly where there's a clear line of sight to your controller. Wi-Fi is everywhere. There's going to be interference from time to time. It's a risk we take with the technology that's available. The tech Parrot has included in the Bebop is amazing in my opinion for the price point. Just understand, if you control it with an iPad, an iPhone, an Android, whatever, you have less range and more possibility for interference because of weaker signal. Selecting a clear channel for your immediate area is extremely important. Thanks, I hope this has been a little help with having fun with our Bebop drones.